most of you don't have any aside i don't know why but after watching this video you will have one so in this video we will be building a full website with different pages content and everything don't worry you won't need any coding knowledge for this and we will also deploy this site for free so we will be using hugo which is an amazing framework to build websites it is available on all platforms install it according to your device here i will be using termux so first we need to update its repos package update then we need to install hugo for building sites git as we will deploy this site on github and open ssh to access github from command line just execute hugo new site and name of your site in our case we will be building a blog website then just ls and here is our site so just cd to it now we can start server by executing hugo server and it started the server just copy this url and go to the browser and paste it and this error is because i am using ssh access to termux from my phone if i go to the same url in my phone here it is so to access it across all your devices on your local network go to the terminal and stop the server and execute hugo server dash dash bind your ip address dash dash base url and your ip and now i can access it across all my devices on my local network now here we don't have any theme yet so let's install it so just go to go yugo.io and click on themes so here are all the themes which we can use in our site so i will be using newsroom and here it is just click on it now if you scroll down you will find install section for the theme or you can just click on download and it will redirect you to the github repo just copy the url and go to the terminal here i will create a new session so that we don't need to stop and start the server again and again so first we need to execute git init this will make this directory as a git repository then execute git some module add and paste the copied url paste themes slash name of the theme now if we do ls themes here is our theme next we need to add this theme to our site so just open configuration file nano config.toml here we need to add our theme so, so just write theme equal to and the name of our theme and change the title to our website title now if we go to our browser look our new theme has been applied to our site but we don't have any post yet so let's create it so to create a post execute hugo new post slash name of your post dot md this will create a directory with name post where all the post will be stored and this of course name of our post and also this will be the url of our post and our post is created now to edit that post just copy this path and open it and know path of the post now you can write your content here and publish it and you must remove this draft in order to publish your post and you can also put image here which will be stored in static slash images i will show you that in a moment then after this line you can write your content for your post once you are done then just save it next to store images we have to create a directory with name images in static directory now here you can store all your images and then you can use it in your post now if you go to our site look our new post is created and if you have noticed we don't even need to refresh the page it automatically does that next but we don't have anything in our sidebar so let's add it so just go to the terminal and change the directory to themes slash and your theme then change directory to example site data and if we do ls this is the file to configure sidebar so execute pwd to get this part and again go back to your site and now execute following cp copy this part and paste it slash star space data slash dot now this will copy these files in our site now if i go to the website see we have pages in our sidebar to add or remove these pages again go to terminal and open data slash menu dot ml now you can add or remove these pages from sidebar so to add a page just write dash this item colon 
and name of the link then go to the next line and write url colon give url for that so we, so we didn't create to this page yet so, so i will leave it blank then just save the file and go to the site and here is our new page that we just added next to add a new page to the site go to the terminal and execute you go new and name of the page dot md then just copy this path and open it and remove this draft as we want to publish this page and i will add some content in it once you are done then just save the file and copy your page name and open data slash menu dot ml and i created that page for contact which i already added into the sidebar so i will just add the url so url for this page will be just slash and name of the page and you don't need to write dot md at end just write the page name now just save the file and if i go to the site and click on contact page that we just created look our page is here so that's how you add a page we will push this code to github so for that go to your github account and if you don't have that watch this video so just create a new repo with dot github dot io extension and make sure that your repo name must be as same as your github username why that i will tell you in a moment now we will access this github of repo from command line so go to the terminal and execute following and keep entering then execute following then again execute following now just cat and this part copy that and go to github then just click on this icon and go to setting click on ssh and gpg case new key give any name to it and paste the key you copied and save it then again go to terminal and first check the status of git so execute git status and you can see we need to add this file to git so execute git add dot then git commit dash m followed by the message ok so first we need to add our email and username so execute git config dash dash global user dot email and your github email then for name execute git config dash dash global user dot name and your github username now if we commit it's done now if we again check the status git status look all the files are added now go to your github repo and copy this command and paste it in terminal now just push it git push origin main ok so this error is because i forgot to create the main branch my bad on that sorry for that so let's quickly fix it so execute git branch dash capital m main and now if we push it look it's done and if we go to github here are all the files that we just pushed now we need to deploy this code to github pages so go to settings click on pages and change deploy from branch to github actions now go to terminal and here we need to create a directory so execute mkdir dash p dot github slash workforce then execute nano dot github slash workforce slash yugo dot ml and paste the following in it you will get all this from description don't worry about that then just save the file control x y and enter then just add it to git commit it and finally push it now if we go to our github repo click on actions and here you can see our deploy is going on we just click on it and wait till it gets finished now just copy this link go to terminal and open config file nano config.toml and change this base url to the link you copied save it then just add it to git commit it and push it then go to your github repo settings click on pages and here as you can see our website is live on this url and i said you to keep this name same as your github username let me show you why if you go to journal and change this name and keep it something different from our github username go to pages look how big and bad url we get that's why i said you to keep this name as same as your username so that you can get this pretty simple url we just click on this url and as you can see we have our website running and if you want to create a new post here it's super simple let me show you how if I just create a new post, put some content in it and add it, commit it and push it. That's it. And if we go to our site, give few minutes to it, 
don't worry it takes less than two minutes and here is our new post but you might say that we need to again and again execute this command to add this post to our website so don't worry we will create a simple script for that which will do all that for us so we just create a new file nano new post dot ss and here is our script and just save it and then just execute this script bash new post dot ss and now if you go to our site look our new post is here so that's all for this video hope you like it and consider subscribing